But Mike Taylor has been watching, and we've been telling you a lot about the shoreline around here uh, because it has been problematic for a long time. Record levels out there now. And, Mike, I know you've been looking into it online and here with us on Channel 7. What kind of length uh, should people be expecting this to continue with these kind of problems, do you think? Uh, unfortunately, this length of time and the short term is going to be for a good chunk of the work week with these easterly winds being dominant. But it looks like this is going to set us up for yet another warm season dealing with this lakeshore flooding. It seems to be a weekly alert in Metro Detroit, which may be overlooked by many. But for those living along the Great Lakes, lakeshore flooding is a real concern. Jane Kuhn, a resident in Gibraltar, knows firsthand how dangerous living along the lakes can be. I slipped so hard, I ended up in the street, and I was underwater. I was literally gulping water, and I could not get up. I had two severe fractures of my left wrist. Knowing that this is an ongoing issue, and the problems it can cause for property as well, Jane says there's a risk that comes with the beauty of living along the water. People think it's such a great thing to live on a lake, and when it comes to times like this, it's not. It's frightening, and it's, it's dangerous. Despite the fear and anxiety it can bring, it's also business as usual. Tom Keeney sounds like a forecaster because he's seen this issue so many times. Anything 25, 20, 25 plus miles per hour, it's coming over the bulkheads and into people's houses. Tom says everyone is at the mercy of the winds changing direction, but this time the winds will stay persistent due to a cutoff low. These form when an area of low pressure separates from the jet stream, causing an unchanging weather pattern for days. This will unfortunately prolong the easterly winds we'll see, making this an ongoing issue. Therefore, the only thing residents can do is prepare and wait. Pump it and keep your fingers crossed and hope the wind changes directions. And those winds will eventually change direction, but uh, yeah, at this point in time, it's very ominous just based on how this pattern is set up and it seems like we're back to business as usual with these high water levels. Yeah, it is tough, Mike. Thank you very much. In terms of the lake levels being in record heights, they typically rise during the warm months and then decrease during the cold months. But looks like this is going to be around you guys for quite a while here. We've got just now getting to the warm months, obviously. We're already at record levels, and this was a problem last year, and we've surpassed those records now. So unfortunately, on the east side of our area, those people are going to have to deal with this problem for a long, long time to come.